Hi everybody and welcome to the Art of Simple Golf. My name is Alistair Davis, I'm the head professional here at the Forest of Arden, bringing you a short clip on long irons. So we've been uh, asked the question how we can hit long irons better. And essentially, to be honest with you, the golf swing is not going to vary between a, a long iron, a short iron, and a mid iron. There's natural occurrences that happen just from how we stand the golf ball and the length of the shaft. So the main thing that changes really conceptually, I think when people see a club with far less loft on it, what they feel they have to do is get the ball up in the air. And then they develop a pattern of movement that kind of goes like this. And then what we end up doing is hitting the ball on the upward swing too much and low in the face. So we struggle to get good contact. So essentially what I want to talk to you about today is how we can avoid that, a little drill that can help us monitor that, and also maybe just how we stand to a long iron to make sure we're doing that correctly. But I want essentially the same golf swings we put on a six iron. And most importantly, I want you to hit it with as much confidence as you'd hit a six or a seven iron. With a less loft on the club, the ball will definitely deviate off line more, but in terms of contact, it shouldn't be any harder, apart from the fact we are slightly further away from our work. And the further we are from our work, the harder it does become. But nothing to be fearful of. So what you'll notice here is I've got a golf ball and I've got a tee peg, literally one club head width in front of the ball. So the idea being here, when we go to hit the golf ball, I want to be able to hit the ball and tee peg to ensure the sweet spot of the golf club is traveling down and through. And we want to make sure we're transporting our energy forward towards target and being committed to that. And commitment's the big thing I want to drive home from this video. So from a set point of view, I've got a four iron here. I'd want the ball position to be kind of one third forward in my stance. You'll see here it's kind of under my left chest, okay? Obviously driver would be left heel, a seven iron would be center. So it's more forward in the stance than the seven iron and the hands are gonna be opposite my inside my left thigh. So the hands are ever so fractionally ahead of the ball. In terms of everything else we do, as I said to you, it would be the same as a six iron, or a seven iron, or an eight iron, or a nine iron, whichever your favorite club is. So we're gonna try and hit a ball now and get the tee peg to disappear. And if the tee peg doesn't disappear, it means I haven't executed it properly. I haven't got the club traveling down and through the golf ball as much as I want to. So let's just try one. So correct ball position, correct setup. Oh, a pretty good shot. And we'll see there's a little divot. T pegs disappeared, which is the evidence I want to tell me I've done a good job. If the T peg didn't disappear, I know I haven't extended my golf club through the hitting zone enough. I haven't got the sweet spot traveling down enough, you know, with my body kind of extending enough. So if you can't get the tee peg to disappear, we know you're not committing and hitting down enough on the golf ball from the point of view of the sweet spot of the club. So that should tell you that you're not moving your weight correctly. If that's the case, there's plenty of things we can do. But let's just try this tee peg drill first. Can you get the tee peg to disappear every time? Can you be more committed? Can you think of it as just a six iron and try and hit it nice and positively rather than trying to steer it and lift the ball in the air? That's the key take home message from this video. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. There's regular content coming all the time. And make sure you post any comments you have in the box down below, especially the videos you want me to cover for you. I'm happy to get to those questions as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.